Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the People's Interview. And I've got with me the legendary Starscream. How are you doing, Ezzy, buddy? I'm blessed. I'm good. I'm really good, man. Like that, you and I, we go way, way back. I mean, I think once upon a time, I almost got crushed by a bike, I mean, a bus. And it was nice of you to actually make sure I was still alive. Oh, yeah, I remember that, boy. That's 10, 15 years ago now, no? That was a hot minute ago. That was back in the days, the casino days. Yeah, I remember, man. It's glad that you're alive, man. Hence why, why we're here today. Yeah, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you've probably been using Ho Wang longer than most people have been in the FGC. Oh, that's... That's truth, boy. When I find a character, when I find a character that I like in a game, I stick, man. A lot of guys, you know, Tekken, it's about winning, you know, it's about whatever. So a lot of guys, they like to pick top tiers, isn't it? I've liked Haring from day dot, so I stuck with him. He's been in some games where he's not been at his best. I stuck through him, innit? So I'm still with that guy, man. So a lot of people are asking, you know, have I dropped him, have I dropped him? No, I'll never, ever drop Haring, ever, ever. I may, you know, dabble with other characters, but Haring for life, so that's that, boy. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but tell me, the reason why I use the term legendary is apparently you've been brocking up Koreans and stuff like that. Well, I'm not sure about brocking up Koreans. Um, I think the, the, re the reason why it's legendary Starscream is because, without tooting my own horn, um, no, I've, I've, had, I've had a few successes here and there. You know, I've played some really good guys and come through and given some really good guys, you know, some trouble. Um, and I'm notorious for... For that kind of stuff, you know, um, it's only legendary status because of how long I've been. Right. So correct me if I'm wrong. Like I said, you are of legendary status. I mean, you're even billed on that legendary tournament. That's a, there's, no, there's a high stakes tournament happening in the summer. And your your face is on it, man. Bruv. Yeah, number one. I'm not sure why my face is on that, man. You guys need to pay for that, for that, those, um, those pictures, you know, it's not free. No, no, but um, I'm trying to support the scene. You know, um, I've been in the game for, Wow. Since Tekken Tag 1, you know, and even before that I used to play, but I wasn't well known. So legendary status is more because of how long I've been in the game and how I, I, I'm kind of like Arsenal. I'm consistently in the top, not necessarily consi consistently number one, but I'm always up there. So that's why the legendary status is, is in the mix. Ah, sick. No, because, uh, yeah, for those that are not familiar, you're... Like I said, you used to be really, really active, but you've slowed down a bit because uh, you're a family man now, aren't you? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 you know, I'm... Um, I'm settling down. I'm getting old now. I'm, you know, hitting my 30s. But it, none of that is an excuse. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I don't get the time to play as much as I'd like to play. And, you know, to be up there with, with the greats, you need to put in hours. Yeah. Um, and I don't get that time. There's other responsibilities. You know, um, I'm tired and old. So I don't get the time to put in. But, you know, if you're still messing with me, I'll still brack heads. Don't get it twisted, man. I'm still, you know, um, I'll still brack heads. <laughs> Okay. Now I've gone around asking this question, and obviously you've played. You've played. I, I think you played almost all the Tekkens. You know. You know through the through the dark ages, like let's say Tekken Four. But what are you what are you saying about this Tekken Tag Two? Because a lot of people I've spoken to, it's it's kind of mixed. So what are you saying? Um, I like the game, man. I'm not gonna lie, man. I like this game. It's a harsh game, though, man. It's like because there's an, the impression that it's Tekken Six with two characters. It's not because. Like you don't get enough, each character doesn't have enough of a life bar for you to be able to do as much as you'd like to or be able to try and figure out the player, um, your opponent, as much as you'd like to because by the time you start figuring them out, you've got to tag. And it's not like tag one where you can tag and tag in safely. Like tagging is a really big thing in this game. Like, you know, it's not so easy to tag safely. So the game is harsh. You know, you can be winning and all of a sudden... You know, they come in with rage and they do a combo to you and you can just lose. Just like, like it's, it's really, really harsh. But I like it, man. You know, I, I, I never really complain about the damage when I'm doing it or when I'm, when I'm receiving it, but I love it when I'm doing it, man. I love it when, I, when I'm taking bare bar off, you know, bare bar. It's, I'm loving it, man. I, I like it. I like it. Uh, yeah, one other point. Uh, you've traveled around a bit, so I'm just curious. So for those not in the know, including myself, what are you saying about the UK? Where do we stand in terms of Tekken, because you know what, I heard there's like a Tekken event in Germany, so how do we fare compared to our continental bros? Okay, all right. This will be a bit of a controversial question, only because I have um, a responsibility to the UK. All right, now, I love my UK guys. Always insult them, but that's, that's just how we, that's how we interact, isn't it? That, that's, that's love. How we do against Europe, I think right now, UK are in a place where 
UK need to like they're getting comfortable playing each other and they're getting they're getting you know they're getting good but to be the best you need to go out there and get as much experience as you can so I think UK are really really good but I want to see how well they'll do against the Germans or how well they'll do against the Italians because you know there's a lot of new guys out there and they haven't traveled yet they haven't been given opportunity to travel yet especially for Tekken Tag 2 there, there hasn't been that many international tournaments not that I know of anyway so I'm hoping you know, there's a few guys, I won't mention names, but there's a lot of guys in our UK community that I want to see go abroad and, you know, uh, impose themselves on the foreign, um, on the foreign um, competition. So that's what I'm looking forward to. So, you know, with the next tournament, I'm going to try and rally as many of us as we can. And I'm, gonna, I'm going over there to collect heads. International wars, blatant. Perhaps uh, to the east coast of America, I've heard that the east coast of America are mighty scary at Tekken. Oh, East Coast. There's heads in the East Coast, I won't, I won't lie. But there's heads all over, like America's, North America. Not even North, like South America, like the Venezuelans. The Venezuelans, shout out to you guys, man. You know, there's guys in Venezuela. There's all over US, there's heads. And they like, you know, they, they play, they put that work in, you know, they put in that work. So, you know, the competition is crazy and it's a harsh game. So you have to be on point. You have to be, man. But yeah, man, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm really up for for international travel, man. It's, and, and it's a lot. Like, I had, there was a, a, a tournament in France um, called UT, and some of the Italian, um, you had the Italians down, you had Germany, you had the Spanish, you had the Americans, like Bronson, uh, Fab, Rip, they came down. We had um, the Venezuelans. I love that shit, man. Love that shit, man. Okay, then. But, so, like I said, there's nothing else to cover, but thank you very much for your time, brother. Oh, yes, yeah, always, always a pleasure, man. Always a pleasure. And like I said, Hopefully, we'll be seeing more of you in the future, man. I, I plan to, man. Before I pass, just two words. Bronson went to Evo this year, and Bronson came second. Bronson. Bronson's probably, probably a wanker. Like, this guy's probably eight years younger than me, and I'm old, and yet he still managed to come second. So I've got to give him props. You know, um, Bronson proved that there's still life in the old guys. Bruv, bruv. So I've got to give him props, isn't it? He did, he did things, man. Move the dirty hand. He did things. So he's, he's breathed life into us old guys, isn't it? He, he's, he's given us hope. So uh, on that, that's given me the impetus to practice again, man. So save for that, Bronson, man. Cheers. Adios. Yeah, sharp like an edge of a samurai sword. The men to play, cut through flesh and bone. Don't mind that piece.